Today I'm going to show you how I fix broken furniture legs. First, I start off by purchasing and using this amazing mold putty. I get mine at Hobby Lobby, but it is also available on Amazon. This kit comes with two putties that you simply just mix together. I'll be repairing this end table leg. I need it to match the opposite leg as you see here. First, I'm going to start off with part A of this kit. I'm simply just measuring out what I think I'll need to complete my mold. Then I'll take part B and measure out about the same because with this kit, you need to measure out ideally the same with both sides so that you make sure your chemicals will bond together correctly. Now I'm mixing both molds until I get a pale yellow color and they are fully combined. I'm going to also go ahead and form my mold by using the unbroken leg to make a mold for my filler. After about 20 minutes of cure time, I go ahead and gently remove it. You wanna make sure you're gentle so that it doesn't rip and it should come right off like this. And then this is going to be my mold I use Bondo as my mold filler simply because it is the strongest product that I believe holds up as well as I'm going to need it to, especially with a furniture leg. You want to make sure that it's sturdy and it can hold a lot of weight and pressure. I eyeball what I think I'll need and then once I get that out, I'll apply the cream hardener and then mix it up. And you have to remember with Bondo, you have to work fairly quickly. Once it's all mixed, I quickly scoop it up and I start piling into the mold. It does get messy and I do recommend wearing gloves. I just failed to do so in this video. Another reason I love Bondo is its cure time is incredibly fast. This was about 10 minutes. So here I am just removing it from the mold. And then here it is. I'm just taking sandpaper to remove a lot of the extra Bondo that kind of overfilled. So this way it's easier when I go to attach it. Here it is after I attached it and sanded it to kind of blend it in some. It's not going to be 100% perfect, but it's definitely better than what it was. One of my favorite primers is Rust-Oleum's Gray Primer, especially because it's quick, easy, and it can. I don't have to worry about rolling or brushing. After my primer dries, I apply wood filler to all of the holes. I will sand this once it's dry and prime again. Reminder of the leg I used my mold on, and here's the leg I repaired. You can obviously tell there's a little bit of repairs made, but ultimately it's way better than it was. 